terrible disaster. Mr. Jonathan sadly pointed that biggest mistake letting Meghan destroyed palace. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's popularity will continue to struggle against the royal families despite their celebrity status, according to a royal expert. Royal commentator Jonathan Sacerdotti said that, at this stage, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are celebrities. During an interview, he said the pair benefit from this celebrity status and do draw some attention because of this. However, he noted that it did not compare to the admiration, interest and support the royal family receives. He insisted the Sussexes' New York trip was a clear indication of the difference between the couple and the rest of the royals. He emphasized the size difference in crowds and the level of dignitaries Meghan and Harry were able to meet. Mr. Sacerdotti said, there is interest in Meghan and Harry, naturally. They are celebrities, they do get an enormous amount of coverage and they rely on it. But I think it is not the same kind of attention. When there is a royal tour, you see streets lined with people waiting to see what is happening. You see dignitaries rolled out but I think Meghan and Harry had to make do with some relatively lower level officials meeting them. Meeting for what appeared to be completely pointless gatherings and meetings. Crowds that were somewhat underwhelming when you saw it in the footage. It highlighted the gulf between a royal tour and a would-be royal tour they were engaging in. I suspect we are going to see more of that going forward. Mr. Sacerdotti also commented on Meghan and Harry's ability to repair their relationship with the British public. He claimed the royal pair had now burnt bridges and would not face the same support they once did while working in the royal family if they returned to the UK. He added that after the pair stepping down as senior royals and moving to America, many Britons have firmly made their mind up about the couple. He added traditional royal family fans are unlikely to change their minds either. Previous, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were the butt of many jokes on the Australian comedy show Have You Paid Attention? And the panel couldn't help but mock the royal couple once again on Monday, this time during their photo shoot for Time magazine's most influential people issue. The Sussexes were roasted by comedian Zed Carverley, Sam Pang and Luke McGregor after quizmaster Tom Gleisner asked them which post Harry and Meghan featured on its cover this month. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's cover shoot for Time magazine's most influential people issue was savagely mocked by the cast of Did You Pay Attention? Monday. Pictured, gamed master Tom Gleisner. Did You Pay Attention? is Down Under's most popular panel, and is considered Australia's response to Britain's Mock the Week. Luke was the first to ring the bell and answer, PC Gaming a reference to a UK magazine specialising in developments in the video game industry. The panel burst into laughter, as host Tom joked, they'll do anything. Quizmaster Tom Gleisner asked the panel to name the magazine featuring Harry and Meghan on its cover. Photo from left to right, Luke McGregor, Ed Carver-Lee, Celia Pakwola, Anne Edmonds, Sam Pang. Ed then replied, better houses and gold diggers. This was in reference to the Australian TV show and Better Homes and Gardens magazine. The sign exploded into laughter yet again, as Tom responded with false disdain, this is, very mean. Better Homes and Gold Diggers, Ed hit ex-actress Meghan savagely with his tongue-in-cheek response. Prince Andrew was hoping for Teen Vogue, Sam then made a guess, poking fun at the recent sexual assault allegations made against Prince Andrew by Virginia Roberts Jufri. Sam then came up with his hypothesis, referring to recent allegations of sexual assault made against Prince Andrew by Virginia Roberts Jufri. Prince Andrew was hoping for Teen Vogue, the comic said with a smirk. The Duke of York has always denied Jufri's claims that he and Jeffrey Epstein forced her to have sex when she was underage and he has not been charged with any crime, and he has not